What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Me and my daughter, we are back out here on the water today, and we're doing something really, really fun. I have not done it in probably two years or so, I would say somewhere in there, but we're out here on the river, and we're running limb lines for catfish. Now, I did a video about two years ago on my channel. If, if you're old school and you've been watching my channel a long time, you probably remember it but we caught a great big catfish doing this. We caught a ton of catfish doing this actually. And it's just, it's so fun. You know, when you pull up on that limb and that limb is bouncing up and down and you got one on that line, uh, it's just a really, really fun time. And you know, if you have a young kid or something, they absolutely love doing it as well. So basically the way you do it is you tie the line to a tree, you put a weight on it, put a hook on it, and you put a piece of cut bait on it and you let the limb basically act as your rod they're bouncing it up and down if you've ever watched swamp people and saw where they've caught alligators it's pretty much the exact same principle um, so here in virginia you basically have to put a tag on it with your name and phone number it's perfectly legal to do here i don't know about other states so if you decide to do this where you live at just make sure that you know it's legal but it is super super fun i think we have seven lines set already we're going to try to get about 20 set the next one i might get kai to hold the camera and i might show y'all you know kind of how i do it but we're going to run them on the way back down see if we have any and then we're going to come back tomorrow and check them again and we're trying to catch some of these big old blue catfish that live in this river they're very invasive they were introduced into here about 10 years ago and they have just wrapped the river up it is a ton in here so we're going to try to catch all we can we're going to keep them and we're gonna eat those suckers. So let's go ahead, let's get up to the next line. Let's see if we can catch some big ones. All right, so we're up here. This is our 14th line that we're running. So we were gonna run 20, but what we ran into is just, it's not a lot of limbs to tie off to because the river is actually a lot lower than it typically is this time of year. So our limbs are limited. But up here, this is a really good limb right here. Nice and flexible. You wanna always make sure that you have a good limb that's uh, flexible so when the fish grabs it, it can bounce up and down. But basically we're using, this is orange, I know, but this is just mason line and it's like a 129 pound test. So you wanna make sure that you have good, strong mason line. You don't wanna be buying that stuff. That's like eight or 12 pound test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it off to this limb right here. If I, can, uh, if I can do this, this is super easy to do. It's super, super fun. And uh, you and your kids will really enjoy it. I mean, or you and your friends will enjoy it or whatever. But you know, as you can see, we are in a river. So we are dealing with some current, so it makes it a little bit more difficult than say if you're in a lake or somewhere, but you wanna make sure that this is legal. Um, you know, check your local regulations here in Virginia. You have to make sure you have your stuff tagged. Um, so I do have tags made up um, to put on my lines, but right here it's like seven foot deep. So we're gonna have it about five foot down in the water. So basically all you do is you tie a hook on here and like i said we got limbs we got i mean you're gonna get in limbs and you're gonna get in all kinds of stuff when you do this so we're gonna get back up here we're gonna get our hook tied on i'm using six alt hooks you want to use big trot line hooks that have big holes in them so you can put your uh your line through but basically i'm just doing uh five twists running through this is just like a regular old clinch knot but this string is so big that she holds good and tight. So we're putting her there, we're snugging her up. And then what I like to do is I like to use a half inch nut right here, half inch nut for my weight. So I just take the line, gotta pull back up here so we get back up here. Also be careful when you're doing this, make sure the line doesn't slip and that hook go in your hand because that would be absolutely horrible. But um, we're gonna put this through here right now. And then we gotta get our piece of shad on there. We're using shad for bait. We're gonna put a big old hunk, big old hunk of shad on there. It's for like this the spot. guts. Yeah, this is the guts and everything. And we're gonna make sure we get the, the hook through there good. And 
We're gonna wait a minute. My nut fell off. How did that happen? I didn't have it tight enough. Make sure. Ah, I'm gonna pull back through here. But make sure that your nut is on there good. This is probably the biggest piece of bait. We're all in the in the sticks, but this is probably the biggest piece of bait that I've put on a line. So we're gonna drop that bad boy down there. And that is it. Like I said, that's the 14th line. So on the way back, we're actually going to run the line. So when I say run the lines, we're gonna run back. If one's on it, we're gonna take the fish off. We're gonna rebait them, uh, put them in the live well. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow, like I said, and do the same thing. We're gonna check on them all morning. Now, it is like 60 right now. And I have to tag that one actually. I gotta get a tag out and put it on that one. But it's like 60 right now. And tomorrow is like a high of like 45. Tonight it's going to get down in the 20s. So I'm a little bit uh, optimistic about how well they're going to bite tonight. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, I'm sure we'll have one on the way back. Maybe tomorrow the lines will be loaded. But we're about to find Dad, out. Dad, a fish just jumped Oh, I see right a big there. fish just came up right there. So maybe they're biting. I don't know. We're going to find out real quick right here in a second. It looked like a gall. We got one. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got one. Yeah. All right. Yep. So look, remember, look when we get up there, take your time. Hang on, I'm, hang on, hang on. I got to turn the boat. I got to turn the boat, so I'm bringing it into the current. Okay. You're gonna turn it so we're going into the current, and you pick the line up and set it down here in the boat. I don't know how big it is. I don't think it's very big. All right, get him in the boat. Throw him in the boat. There we go. That's the first one. He's not, he's a decent. Hey, hey that's a channel cat. Yes. So that's a channel cat. So we actually yeah, ended up, smart. yeah, we ended up with a channel cat instead of a blue to begin with. So let's get the hook out of him. We're gonna get this, pliers. yeah, we're gonna get this baited back up. Yeah, hand me my pliers. So channel cat for the first one. Take your phone, baby. We don't want to get that okay. all slimed up. Yep. I knew it when we were pulling up. Yeah, there. we pulled up. I was like, yep. All right, so there's a channel cat right there. I'm going to get another piece of bait on here. Hopefully we get another one tomorrow. Yep, hopefully so, but that's that's good. That's a good sign. Oh, dropping that bait was not a good sign. There we go. Rebaited. Ready for more. All right. Finally got one. Finally got one. I'm going to... Just grab him so I don't get my hands all slimy. But there we go. That's a channel cat. We're going to put him in the box. Open that up. Put him in there. Drop him for me. Yep. Hopefully we get another one. So let's uh, let's go check some more. Sure. Good deal. All right, Kai. Well, that's it. One cat. We'll come back tomorrow. Yep. We'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have It's a big one. It's a big one. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, he's gonna splash you. <laughs> Hang on, let, let him down, let him down. Let him down, let him back in the water. Oh, he's tangled up. It's all right, hey, look, look, this is a nice one. Hey. I, can, I can pull him in. Yeah, got... look, look, what else? Hey, I'm Hang wet. on. <laughs> You're wet? Splash you. Look, look, just get the net. 
Get the net. We'll make it a little easier. We finally got one, and it's a big one. And it's a decent size. It is a big one. Yep, get the net. Go ahead and pull it out. Yep. I thought it, uh, there we go. I thought it looked like it might have been one on it. We got a limb shaker. Look, I'm going to let you pull him up and net him, okay? That's all you got to do. You pull him up. Hey, can you get the Yep, line? you get him in the net. So I'm going to bump you I'm gonna bump you back over there, but you got to have the net off to the side. I'm scared. You're good. Have the net off to the side. When you get it up, you net him, okay? All right, we got one. I guess I don't want to fall in. Yeah, you're going to fall in. Nice. Yeah. This is a nice one, too. This is like a 15-pounder. Good deal. <laughs> Look, set the net over here now. You can't, you can't net him until you get him up. Here, set the net over here. Yep, set the net. You can't, you can't net him until you get him up. Set it over here. All right. All right, there you go. <laughs> Scoop him. It's all you. It's all you. Hang on. Well, <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Yep, scoop him. You got to get him head first now. Okay, it. Hey, get him up higher. There you go. There you go. You got him. Get him in there. Get him in there. <laughs> all right, that is a nice one. Get him in here, girl. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh hey, that is a good one right there. Oh, hey. Good deal right there. Hey, give me them pliers. Where the pliers at? Are the pliers down here? There they are. I got them. That's a big one. That is a big one, babe. Get that hook out. It's very awkward when you have to hold the we'll line. And... Hey, we'll rebate that. Look, I'm going to get you to hold him up for the cat. Oh, I kicked my drink over. Oh. God, go on it. Well, at least we got one. Yeah, we did. All right, hang on. Ooh, there you go. Are we rolling? Is he heavy? All right, so Kai's gonna hold him up for the camera. He's not that heavy. Hey, he's a big one. Turn him sideways. That's a nice one. Big old blue cat. Good deal. He's probably I don't know what he weighs. I tell you what, we'll just just to see. I think he's hey, probably about twelve good. pounds, probably. Yeah. He might only be ten. I'm he's not sure. Not bad. He's not that heavy. Yeah, I'm not a big, big cat fisherman, so here you go. Let me. Let me let go. Nah, I'm, I'm going to put this right here in this. Wait, listen to him. Okay. He's 12 pounds, one ounce. That's a nice one. 12 one. We got All him. Right, we got him. Let's see if we can put him in the live well. Pick, pick that up. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I need to sit on it now. He's going to try to come out. Hey, was that exciting? Very. There, we, we finally didn't think we got had one. anything at first. But... I'm telling you. I saw that line was like pulled in just a little bit, yeah. and I was like, man, I think, uh, I think one might be on it. Because it's normally straight or little. Dad. That's right. Cool. See, we got some more. I think we will. Just kind of hard pulling it up with one hand and trying to net it with the other hand. <laughs> I know it. It feels like a 10 pounder would have been a little bit. Yeah. We're going for big ones, though. All right. Well, as y'all can see, we did not really tear them up. You know, we had a really good time. Went out there, spent time together on the water, setting those lines. We were really, really hoping that we were going to do a lot better than we did. So we ended up with two catfish, as y'all saw. It was really, really funny to watch Kai get that 12-pounder in the net. I got to sit back, let her do her thing, get it in the net, and it was it was really funny. I hope y'all enjoyed that as well because I know I did. Seeing her struggle to get that thing in the net and try to hold the the you know the cat line at the same time, it was pretty doggone funny. But... 
With that being said, if you have kids, if you have a wife, if you yourself enjoy fishing in general, this is a really, really fun way to go out, catch some fish, and relax. It's not like a bass tournament where you go out, you have all the stress on you, you know, you're really trying to fish hard. You know, you go set these lines, they're going to sit there, they're going to do their thing. You're not always going to catch them, but sometimes you can absolutely wreck them. And what I'm really hoping is I hope the river comes up some because it was a little bit too low. It was, a, and it's actually really even lower now, but it really needs to come up like four foot. We need some rain. We need some rain here in Virginia. So I don't know, maybe it will, you know, maybe I'll be able to bring y'all some more content like this. If you did enjoy this type of video, be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know so we can go back and do some more of this. So I try to bring y'all a variety of content, not just bass fishing stuff. I know I primarily bass fish, but you know, try to bring y'all some different stuff. So like I said, if you enjoyed it, let me know. I appreciate y'all watching this video and I will see you next time on Gunfish TV.